Hi, I'm Martha from Cambridge and I want to share some thoughts with you today. I love Christmas and one of the things I love about Christmas is that we get all of these classic films showing on TV. Some of them are Christmassy films like Home Alone or Elf, but others are just films that don't have any Christmas theme but they just only ever seem to appear at Christmas on our TV screens. Things like Sound of Music. I love The Sound of Music. It's full of brilliant songs, including How Do You Solve a Problem Like Maria. The song asks how to solve the problem of Maria, who's this nun who actually isn't turning out to be a very good nun. She's getting everything wrong. It goes on to ask other seemingly impossible questions like how do you catch a cloud and pin it down? And how do you hold a wave upon the sand? Today, we're gonna look at a carol called Hark the Herald Angels Sing. But if I was to rename this carol, inspired by the sound of music, I would rename it, How Do You Solve a Problem Like the Human Race? You see, there are lots of good things about humanity. Here are a few of my favorite things. Our ability to uh, create and be inventive, to make things amazing, like uh, whoever first looked at a coffee bean and thought, I'm gonna flavor hot water with that smell, I'm just so grateful for, because thank you, whoever you are, coffee is an amazing gift. But we also have other things that are great about humanity, like our ability to form relationships, the fact that our deepest desire is to, to know others and to be known ourselves. But there are also things, lots of things that are wrong with the world. Most of these stem from stuff that's wrong with humans. And our big problems are that we're separated from God because of our sinfulness. We're broken, fragile, mortal, sin, death, illness, fear. These all have holds on us that they're not supposed to. So how do you solve a problem like the human race? Our carol for today celebrates how these seemingly impossible problems have been solved through Jesus' birth and death. We're gonna look at how the third verse of this carol specifically details how Jesus solves the problem of the human race. It says light and life to all he brings. Where there is darkness and death, Jesus brings life to the fullness. He's then described as having healing in his wings. We will see all illness healed, whether in this life or the next. And then it goes on to say that Jesus was born to give them second birth. Jesus was born so that we might be born again, that we might become a new person in Jesus and be born into God's family. And the grand finale is that Jesus didn't just provide a way for us to live well in this life, to enjoy the present. It says that he was born that man no more may die. Through his resurrection, he defeated death and made it powerless over all who trust in him. And now this doesn't mean that we won't experience death, but that death won't have the final say. In John 11, Jesus says, I am the resurrection and the life. The one who believes in me will live even though they die. Death is not the end of us. We will be raised back to life to experience eternity in the presence of God. The Bible doesn't give us thorough details of eternity. We probably couldn't comprehend it anyway. But the Bible gives us just enough to know that it's going to be beyond anything we could ever imagine. C.S. Lewis puts it this way at the end of his Narnia series. All their life in this world and all their adventures in Narnia had only been the cover and the title page. Now at last they were beginning chapter one of the great story which no one on earth has read, which goes on forever, in which every chapter is better than the one before. All the problems of humankind, sin, separation from God, death and pain will not just no longer exist. We won't even remember what they were. How to solve a problem like the human race? The answer is Jesus. And it's no wonder that the herald angels are singing glory to the newborn king. So let's listen to that carol now. Oh, 
Christ is born in Bethlehem. Hark the herald angels sing, glory to the newborn. That's why I stand together. Father, thank you that you have made a way for us to live in life in all its fullness right now, but also that there is an eternity that we can keep our eyes on. Jesus, thank you for being born and dying so that we can follow in your footsteps of resurrection. Would you help us to live today with our eyes fixed on eternity? Amen. Well, thanks for joining us today. Tomorrow we've got Rue who's going to be doing something a little bit different. So look forward to sharing that with you tomorrow.